Have you ever wondered whether you're too old to take up a new sport or you felt that you know you don't, won't get any better at the sport that you've chosen? Today we are joined in the Harvey Norman Lounge by a Commonwealth gold medalist, veteran swimming coach and all around pretty much high achiever, Rick Wells. Good morning, Rick. Good morning, Mel. And first up, you've represented New Zealand in both swimming and triathlon. Uh, do you find coaching as satisfying as the competing? Oh, it's totally different. You know, I don't think you can take what you did as an athlete into coaching um, because what your views are is, is something completely different to what the athlete's views are. And so you've got to actually try and have empathy with the athlete, not sort of um, install your own sort of um, way that you used to do it. Well, that's really interesting because I would have thought, though, having been a competitor, it would still make it the transition to coaching easier because at least you know what they're going through a little bit. To a point, but I think sometimes because if you're a sort of reasonable, successful athlete, you just you actually think it's easy. Whereas mm -hmm. some athletes, you've got to coach them yes. um, to that. And so you, you can't just go, well, I'll just go and do that because I did it. You know, so you guys should be able to do it. So it's that art of being able to um, put into words that the athlete can understand. Yeah, it's not one size really fits all, no, is it? not at all. Uh, how do you find training older people for the Masters Games? How's that for you? <laughs> Look at you smiling. Is yeah, it a well, good experience? Oh, it's, it's a great experience, you know, because generally they're motivated. You know, like I've coached kids and all that, but generally they're there because their parents have driven them there. Whereas these guys get out of bed, they're highly motivated people. They get out of bed at six o'clock and come to the pool, you know, and they pay you for it. Yeah. So, um, you know, and they're, they're generally high achievers themselves in their own walks of life. And um, what makes it great, like we've got lawyers, we've got um, head of uh, corporates, but once they get down to their speedos, they're just um, all the same. <laughs> the speedos are the great equaliser. Yeah, no, we should of. ban them, really. I think there's a certain <laughs> age where um, you shouldn't be in speedos. <laughs> so, you know? so you should be competing in the Masters Games, but you're allowed to wear your, uh, your, long, your long board shorts or oh, something. Oh, totally. I'm wearing jammers. I'm are like, you? Oh, yeah, I'm like a pair of speedos. You're not going to your speedos, <laughs> no, but no. you would have worn a lot of speedos in your time. Yeah, and that's why I'm not going in them. <laughs> <laughs> so you are training a few of our swimmers for the Masters yeah. Games. Moss, Burmester amongst them. Yeah, Moss is there, and um, you know we've got a wide range you know, sort of people like Moss, and then we're going right up to Graham and Alison Lee, who are about in their 80s. That's incredible, but swimming is a really good thing for older people too, isn't it? Because it's quite good on the joints and the, and the bones and things. Yeah, it's sort of, we sort of joke it's sort of from the cradle to the grave. Yeah. Um, you know, there's <laughs> sort of, uh, you know, you can do it, whereas, you know, I don't run anymore, I jog, you know, and, or plod. Whereas um, you can still swim and, and push yourself reasonably hard. Mm. Moss Burmester, I, I was quite surprised when we were chatting before in the green room that he hasn't swum since, well, since Beijing. That was his last professional sort of thing, wasn't it? I was surprised. I would have thought it was maybe two or three years ago, but that's nine years ago. Yeah, we're all getting older. We are all getting older. How is he? Because he's been up at that top level. Is he OK to coach or is he being a bit precious? Oh, no, no, he's fine. <laughs> yeah, no, he's, he's good. You know, like he, I think sort of as long as you go in there with a realistic view that you're, you're not going to do what you did 10 years ago, you're fine. But the problem is... We're all still competitive, it's just the body's not so willing. So the mind's saying go, yeah. but the body's saying yeah. no. He got so, into the pool a bit late though, didn't he? Yeah, he's sort of, he's left his run probably a tad late, but... Yeah, but know. he's probably going to be OK. Um, the Masters Games, they're a great inspiration, actually, aren't they, for older people? I think they're, 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 anyone can do them, you know, so there's, the only barrier is age, and sort of, um, you can't hide from that. So if you want to go and do the event, you just can enter it. So yeah. there's no sort of standard. It's going to be so much fun to see. Hey, well, thank you very much. And you're entering the life savings, so best of luck for that. Thanks so much. I'm sure you yeah. do really fine. You'll, yeah. you'll be fine. Put the budgie smugglers on. You'll be fine too.